What's going on guys? Another video here um, with Custom Living. Um, just want you guys to stick along here today. Uh, we will be going to the thrift store, um, Salvation Army, maybe Value Village, to find some create things we can sell on eBay. So stick along and I'll show you exactly um, what I'll be sourcing. But first, um, I'm going to go have to make a change to myself. So guys, as you can tell, I have made it to the Salvation Army. As you can tell, I also got a little haircut here. So um, I'll meet you guys in the store and I hope to find some crazy cool things, um, some vintage gear. Um, but you just never know. So stick along and I'll meet you in the store. I got a few things here. I'm gonna start off with the true religion that I found. Um, some vineyard vines here. I'm gonna keep looking, guys, um, and see if I can find anything in the dress shirts. What's going on guys? So I just left the Salvation Army right behind me. I got some heat in here, so um, stick along here. I'm gonna get in the car and I'll show you exactly what I got. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't really record myself uh, in the store. There's a lot of people in there today and they are kind of weird in that store about recording. So um, I wanna respect them on that. Um, and, and I'll try to make up as much footage as I can in the store. But um, as we get to the car here, it gives me an opportunity to break down and show you exactly what I got. Um, found a lot of pretty neat things in there. Um, it was a little dry, but uh, I spent a little bit of time in there, but I found some pretty, pretty nice stuff. Um, the first thing that I found, uh, which was the, the nicest thing that I think I found was this, this old Crimson Tide starter jacket. Um, vintage, uh, pretty dope size XL here, if you can see in the camera. Um, it is a Crimson Tide alabama jacket i only paid uh for 3.99 for it so i believe it's a steal i don't know if i'm gonna keep it for myself or sell it but this vintage type jacket starter um is pretty dope secondly i found another pretty pretty sick thing here it was this old vintage nike uh pullover slash uh quarter zip orange great condition i paid uh 4.99 for it so i did pay up a little bit for it not really but um, I'm thinking I could sell this for about $35. Uh, this vintage Nike is hard to find and this is my first time really finding it so cool. Um, vintage Nike like that. Secondly, uh, thirdly actually, I bought this. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna really do well, but I have sold this before. It is a Southern Tide uh, quarter zip. It just says $4.99, but the white tags were half off, so I paid $2.50 for it. Um, even if I get 12 to 20 bucks for it, I think I can make some profit off of it um southern tide usually the quarter zips do well it's like vineyard vines um so another decent find this is a tommy bahama relax plain pink t-shirt uh, i paid 99 cents for it this is a size large i have previously sold this for about 14 or 15 dollars so that's what i probably listed for um make some quick profits off of that um tommy bahama uh, never fails for me they're pretty sweet. Uh, another interesting find that I've I've never really found before, and I'm pretty familiar with the name, but I never really had an opportunity to buy it in a thrift store, uh, is the True Religion brand here, guys. This is like a Buddha. If you can see here, it's like a Buddha True Religion t-shirt. Um, I, I wasn't really familiar with the brand, like the price range. I paid three, three dollars for it, $2.99. Um, but I looked up this shirt here, it's in a different color, but they sold it for like $26 on eBay. Uh, this is a flawless shirt. Um, I think this would be great for me, and I plan to list it for $26 as well. So, um, great find there. This here I just bought. This is CrossFit shirt. Personally, I might keep it. It was a dollar. 
Um, so we'll see how that goes. And lastly, um, as you guys seen in the prior footage, um, this is the Vineyard Vines brand, guys. I have done great with this brand previously, and I always sell it when I get my chance to. Um, one thing that it might affect the value is this from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, as you can see, the, the Maryland flag stripes in the whale. But um, being from Baltimore, um, pretty, sick, pretty sick shirt um, that I, I hope I can sell to someone in Maryland or even just sell it because it's Vineyard Vines, guys. Uh, the brand as well. Hopefully, we can sell it for like $16. Um, Vineyard Vines never fails me. So, guys, I'm going to go off to another thrift store and I'll meet you there. So, our next stop is coming to the Value Village. Here's this thrift stop number two. Guys, this place usually does me well. So, I hope I can find some, some heat in here, some cool things I can sell. Um, stick along and I'll take you guys into the store. Hopefully, um, I'll be videotaping in here. So, stick along. So far, I only have two things in my cart. I'm not really coming up with much here. Um, looking for some vintage shirts. The shirts are kind of walk through. But um, I have Patagonia and Vineyard Vines in there. So we'll see if we take this home with us. I keep looking, guys, and if I find anything, I'll let you know. So guys, um, I just finally left the, the Value Village up the street here. Um, I had to uh, relo relocate my car because when I was going out to the truck, um, this older lady was harassing me for a ride. Um, so it was like weird. So I couldn't really get on footage. But um, again, uh, I spent a little bit of time in there. I'll show you exactly what I got. Um, but I, I'm going to include what I what I found previously in the video so you guys can kind of see. I didn't really walk away with anything else um, except for two items in there. I paid like $9 for both of them. Um, pretty sweet brands that I have sold and, and will continue selling that, that do me well on eBay. So um, I'm going to jump right in and show you exactly what I got. Um, first of all, I got this um, Patagonia here. It's a men's. It's like a lightweight fleece. It's a quarter zip. I think it's in a great color. It's this olive green color. Um, I paid $4.49 for it. Um, Patagonia here on the side here. Just make sure it's authentic. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if there's really problems with that, but I just want to make sure I get the best Patagonia I can. It is a little worn, um, but I think it'll do great. I'm going to look and sell this at like $30. Um, Patagonia usually sells great for me. Um, I have great experience with it. And I recommend anyone who's in the thrift store to, to pick up Patagonia. It's definitely a new and upcoming brand, and it will continue to sell on eBay. So, guys, um, go out there and find it. Um, next is I found Vineyard Vines here again. Um, it's a pretty good day with the Vineyard Vines brand. It's a size, uh, what is it, XXL. Um, this is a great color. This is a, like, blue and white striped. Um, it's a very preppy look. Um, and I personally would wear this myself, so I know this would probably sell uh, to someone like my age or, or someone, anyone who likes Vineyard Vines. Um, not a problem with that. I paid $4.45 for that. Um, so it's a great deal. I'm looking to sell that at like $25, $28. Um, I'm not very um, scared about that not selling because Vineyard Vines, Patagonia, North Face Den brands always do well for me, guys. So um, it was a quick little day in the thrift, guys, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was fun to get out there and go to the thrift store. Um, I bought about seven or eight items, I'm not really sure. But I spent a little bit over 20 bucks, and I'm looking to flip that and make some profit. So what I'm going to go home is go um, finish up on some shipping, and I'm going to go re uh, list everything, and I'll get back to you guys with another video very soon. So again, thank you guys um, for watching. I will continue to be hitting the thrift store. Um, and continuing my selling on eBay journey. So stick along, guys, and I hope you enjoy. Have a nice one.